Okay, everyone. So now we are creating a Windows application in which we are going to find the largest of three numbers, and we are also going to arrange these number into the ascending order. Now, first of all, we should be taking the three numbers. So that's why we are going on the label, and here we are taking the first label and changing the text. That is, enter first number. So we are taking the first number from the user, clicking back. So enter first number. Again, we are taking one more label here and giving the same type. Enter second number. Then afterward, one more label we are taking, dragging and dropping. So here we are giving the name. Enter third number. So three numbers we have taken. Then afterward, these numbers will be taken from the user with the help of the text box. So we are going to take the text box. So text box one in front of first number, two in front of second number, three in front of third number. So three text box we have taken. Now we want that on the click of the button, the action should be performed. So we are taking the button, dragging and dropping. So there we are writing the click so button name is the click we want that once the click is on afterward there should be the largest number so we are just dragging and dropping another label and here we are saying largest number so this is the largest number now clicking back afterward we are taking one more label and that label we are taking for the series or the ascending order so ascending order so this will be the series of the numbers into the ascending order here we are also taking the text box so we are going down and taking another text box now this is text box 4 for the largest number and text box 5 we are taking that is for the sequence so this is how we have created the form. Now afterward, we are going to run this. So I'm clicking on this start debugging button. Now it is going to run. So this type of form will be displayed. And here you can see that we will be entering few numbers. Let's say 5, 8 and 9. Then afterward on the click of button, we will find the largest number and the numbers into the ascending order. I am first of all changing the name of the form so you can provide your name I am providing my name here now afterward we know that on the click of the button we should run the code so this is the function here now text box 1 2 and 3 so three variables I need so that their values should be taken so I am saying dim a comma b comma c as integer so these three variables i am taking in the a i am taking the value of text box one dot text means whatever is written in set text box one that text converted to value and saved to a similarly b is equal to value of text box two dot text then c is equal to value of text box three dot text text so this way in variables a b and c we have taken the three numbers from the user now we want that after taking these numbers we should be displaying the result so our first task is to find the largest number and show into the text box 4 so here we are writing the code now we know that whenever we are going to perform any condition means A is largest or B is largest or C is largest. So there only one statement out of three will run. In such cases we apply the switch or the if else. So here we are working with the if else. We are saying if let's say A. If A is greater than B. Now there is a operator which is called and this is the concatenation. Now it is going to concatenate two conditions A greater than B and A greater than C means in both the cases A is greater if A greater than B and means both conditions should be true this is our first condition 
a greater than b and this is second condition so and work for the both condition should be true if i apply or or means any one is true but i want that number a is greater if a is greater than b and a is greater than c so let's say i will write text box 4 dot text and that will be equal to let's say i am simply writing that number a so i if i run this now you can see that there is a output window if i write a number let's say 9 then 3 then 2 a is greater than these two numbers click so 9 is coming largest but if there is a 1 now no result is coming you can see that because nothing is performed because i have not done the coding for other part so i am applying the else if here if i has to apply multiple condition then i use the else if else if now come to b if b is greater than a and b is greater than c in that case we are going to write text box 4 dot text and that will be equal to b you can see that if b is greater than a and b is greater than c so b is greater than both so b is greater similar way we can apply the else if it is now up to you you can apply the else or you can apply the else if totally up to you now there are some repercussions also if you are applying the else if let's say if i am saying else if c greater than a and c greater than b so what is going to happen we are writing text box 4 dot text will be equal to c so here you can see that if a is greater than b and c a is greater if b is greater than a and c b is greater c is greater than a and b c is greater so now if i run this then afterward if i say 9 11 3 so click 11 is greater now there is one more thing if i run this program again now you apply the numbers let's say 11 11 and 6 click nothing is going to happen why because see our condition a greater than b and c so it is not greater than that even if i pick the b it is not greater they are equal so that means there are two options either you change this else if with the else or we apply here equal to everywhere just like if i say if a equal to or greater so here we are mentioning a because if a and b both are equal so you can put a as greater no problem right so this is the option because we want the number we are not going to display the variable here so you can give the equal to sign now now just check so if we are going to run this program again now i am saying 11 11 and 5 now click 11 is coming it can be a or b doesn't matter but we have the largest number that is what we want so this is our first step finding the largest number now is the ascending order means they should be lined up 5 11 11 or let's say if i run this program again i am giving some random number 5 2 and 9 i click 9 is greater then the ascending it should come 2 5 9 so that sequence we want so for that we are going back to the coding now we are going over there here we have to extend the coding so first of all you should observe that only this part if a greater than b and a greater than c then a is greater for sure so we know that a is greater so that means if i has to say a so a will be coming on the top now the decision should be taken between b and c so you apply one more if this is the nested if whenever you apply if inside the if this is called the nested if so we are saying if b greater than equal to c so we can say that b is greater otherwise we can say that c is greater right so now in that both the cases we are going to display now what we are going to display we are going to display sequence into the text box 5 
so you understand that in first part a was the greatest a greater than b a greater than c a was the greatest and now i compare b and c out of that b was greater so that means c b a was the sequence so i will write into the text box 5 dot text that is equal to c first of all c variable will come i will concat with b now i i want some space so i am concatenating with one space here then afterward i am again concatenating with b then again concatenation sign one space then afterward a so you can see that c b a because a was the greatest so a will always come here now the decision between b and c so b was greater then b will come here otherwise if b is not greater i will copy paste and i will change it so it will be becoming b c a so here is the condition like this so i will now run this and check is it working so this is only the part of first code so it will work for the first one that means a should be greater so 9 2 4 let's say so click so 9 is the largest 2 4 9 so here a is 9 b is 2 and c is 4 so a b c 9 2 4 so a was greater a will come here now out of these two 2 and 4 which is greater c is greater so else part will run so b c a means 2 4 and 9 will display here so this code we has to do same for the other as well now this code we can copy or we can write totally i will write one another i will copy now is the time for the second block in the second block let's say if b is greater because b is greater than a and b is greater than c so b is greater now the decision between a and c so i will write one more time if if a greater than equal to c so between a and c if a is greater then we know that the sequence will be b is on the right hand side and afterward a and c will be the smallest so we will write in text box 5 dot text equal to because c is the smallest so i will write c concatenate with one space again concatenate with then a was the next again concatenate with the space then again concatenate with the largest number which is b so this is how we can provide or we can do the same thing now else part else part for let's say we are not having a greater than c because b was greater and decision between a and c has to take and out of a and c if a is not greater then else part will work so here we will write but yes it will become a c and b so this is how we can provide the sequence so now afterward we can check this also let's say if i run this now here the b should be greater so i am saying 6 9 2 so b is greater click so 9 is the greater and 2 6 9 so last option here we know how to write the code so i will copy paste i will copy here and paste it and i will modify this is not only copying we has to modify also because there are lots of changes we can see that c greater than a c greater than b means c is greater so if c is greater then c will for sure coming on the last because c is the greatest one so c will come here on the last always now decision between a and b has to take so that means a greater than equal to b so we are changing here so if a and b a is greater then b is the smallest so the sequence will be b a c so i am changing here b a c correct and if it is not 
proper that means b is greater so sequence will be a b c so here it will be a b c so this is how the code is made now if i run this now let's say i am giving the option of the c i am randomly entering some number let's say 2 1 and afterward i am entering like 5 i click over there so out of that 5 is the largest number and 1 to 5 is the sequence so this is how we can provide into the ascending order if we change the code we can also make into the descending order also so this is the program by which we have used the if else and the nested if and we have find the largest number as well as we arrange the numbers into the ascending order